What's up Model Squad, MOB back with another Division 2 video. Before we get into today's video, I want to announce that I have finally enabled my join button. This means for those of you who want to support the channel that little bit more, you can join and become members. You will have the access to badges and perks others don't. Becoming a member is another great way to support the channel and it's going to help me improve on the channel's quality. If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. I believe the first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. With that said, welcome to another Division 2 Build Breakdown video. In today's video, I bring you my new Assault Rifle DPS Hybrid build. A lot of you players turn your noses up at the hybrid build, but this one is too good to pass up. The fun thing with this build is it gets stronger and stronger the more you kill. This build is great for all solo heroic content as well as squad play and at the moment is my second favourite build to use. Many of you still use the all red DPS build still to this very day but the issue with those builds is they barely have any survivability. Today I'll show you a build that puts out high damage of a max crit chance crit damage build and has the heals of a tier 6 skill build. If there's two things I know the majority of the players in Division 2 like, it's high damage builds and having great survivability. So the question now is, how do we get great heals without sacrificing too much damage? We do this by gaining skill tiers via other sources, instead of making our main attributes yellows in order to gain skill tiers. In this build we get one skill tier from our specialization which is the technician and have only two yellows rolled as main attributes on our gear pieces. That leaves all the rest of the main attributes to be rolled as red attributes. So that's three out of the six yellows needed to reach tier six. So where do the other three come from? Well, these skill tiers come via the new mechanical animal assault rifle. This assault rifle comes with the future perfect talent, weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds, stacks up to three times. Weapon kills at skill tier 6 grant overcharge for 15 seconds, overcharge cooldown is 90 seconds. Apart from the overcharge cooldown, this talent doesn't have a cooldown so you can continuously regain your skill tiers again and again. With the right rolls, this build is capable of 60% crit chance, 150% critical hit damage and over 120% healing. And on top of that, you get 100% repair skills. If that's something you like the sound of, then stick around for the build breakdown coming up next. So starting off with the specialization, which is the technician, there are two main reasons for using this. One you already know, which is the 1-3 skill tier, and the second reason is because we gain an extra 10% skill healing. The technician also comes with pretty nice talents like 12% damage to drones, skill proxies and robotics, so this is great help when it comes to fighting the Black Tusk. Another is the armor kit, which applies to all friendly proxies within 10 meters, so if your shield health is low, you can use an armor kit and gain the health back. So now we have covered the specialization, let's get into the build breakdown. Starting off with our primary weapon which is the mechanical animal. We have 102k base damage, 720 RPM and 50 in the magazine. This gun is very similar to the P416. We have god roll attributes at 15% assault rifle damage, 21% health damage and 6% damage to armor. I really wish that was damage to targets out of cover, we would get a lot more damage out of that. So the talent we have is future perfect, weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds, stacks up to three times. This is where we are getting our extra three skill tiers on top of the three that we already have on the build. If you want to read over this again guys, pause the video to check it out in greater detail. Moving on to the attachments, for our scope we have 5% critical hit damage. For our magazine we have plus 20 rounds, negative 10% reload speed. For the laser pointer, 5% critical hit chance. And on the flash hider, we have critical hit damage. When it comes to the secondary, I'm running a classic M1A and I roll future perfect on there as well. When it comes to the attachments, 5% critical hit damage, 5% critical hit chance, and we have the extra 5 rounds in the mag. Moving on to the actual build now, starting off with the mask. And you guys know that I love the Coyote Mask, it's new enough in every one of my builds because again 25% critical hit damage is too good to pass up plus the extra crit chance you gain once you pass 15 meters. So looking at the mask, 15% weapon damage, it's a god roll mask, crit chance, crit damage and we have a model with 11.5% critical hit damage. If you want to read over the talent so you guys can understand this a little bit more, feel free to pause the video to go over it in greater detail. We're going to move on to the chest piece. So our chest piece is some Fenris and I purposely use Fenris because apparently you can't have an assault rifle build without a piece of Fenris in it. Because if it doesn't have Fenris it 
doesn't make it an assault rifle build. So we have one piece of feminist for the 10% assault rifle damage. We have 10.6% weapon damage, 5.4% critical hit chance, 18.4% repair skills, and a mod giving us 11.5% critical hit damage. Before I talk about the talent, I just want to say the 5.4% critical hit chance, I would prefer that to be crit damage at 12%. That way we can change the crit damage on our weapon attachments to crit chance instead. That way we're still going to reach the cap of crit chance, but will have higher crit damage. Moving on to the talent, we have Glass Cannon. Now everyone's going to be like, oh my god, no, no Glass Cannon, hate that talent. You take an extra 50% damage. It's not as bad as you think. With this build, we are constantly healing and we are also behind a very tanky shield. So we may be taking an extra 50%, but it's not really affecting us that much. Just don't be stupid and stand out in the open face tanking four NPCs. So Glass Cannon is our talent, we're going to move on to our Seska Holster which is giving us the 10% critical hit chance, 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage and 4.5% critical hit chance. Moving on to the backpack and this is important, this is giving us 20% repair skills, 1 skill tier, 15.9% repair skills that could be higher at 20% is the max, 4.4% critical hit chance i would prefer that to be the crit damage again so i could put crit chance on the attachments from my weapon instead we have 18.6 percent repair skills as a mod and then we have vigilance increases total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff for four seconds now 25 percent damage from vigilance is too good to pass up but the problem is if you don't have something to hide behind like your shield that buff isn't up as often as you'd like it to be. So the shield plays really nice in this build because when you're behind it, they're shooting your shield, you're not taking the damage, so you're constantly keeping your vigilance buff. Moving on to the gloves, these are our Grupo Sombra 15% critical hit damage gloves. These give us one skill tier, which I purposely rolled on there. We have 10.8% critical hit damage and 4.5% critical hit chance. Moving on to the knee pads, we have the Fox Prayer knee pads. Love these knee pads. You can't go wrong with that multiplicative damage you get from damage to targets out of cover. So we get 8% from that. We get 11.7% weapon damage and 20% repair skills. And that is it when it comes to all the gear pieces. So we're going to talk about the skills real quick. Like I said, you want the shield because that's going to help you keep your vigilance buff. We're currently at a tier 3. So we get the 100% shield health. When you're at a tier 6, you gain 250%. So the more you kill, the tankier your shield's going to get. With this build, the more you kill, the stronger your heals are going to get. So basically, keep killing, your skills get stronger. It's that simple. So looking at the Hive, we're going to go over that real quick. We have that at tier 3 as well. So we get the 60% healing. And when that is at tier 6 and overcharge, we get the 120% healing. The mods I have on here is 4.5% healing. We have an extra 4 repair charges. And then I have the... 10% duration uh, the mods that I have on my shield which I didn't show you but I'll show you now is 4.6% shield health 4.1% shield health and the 4% damage bonus which doesn't play a role in this build whatsoever because you don't gain any damage because you're not using the other specialization that allows you to get the damage bonus so currently this mod is pretty much useless I don't know if I can find anything here that would actually help some more shield health wouldn't go amiss so now we've covered the skills and the build, we're going to move on to the stat sheet. So as you guys can see, we're at 49% crit chance, near enough 50%. 50% is where you want to be around because you gain the extra crit chance from the Coyote's Mask. We currently have 119.8% critical hit damage. If I had the crit damage rolled on my build instead of crit chance, it would be higher. Don't forget there's an extra 25% on top of that critical hit damage for the Coyote's Mask as well. 55% headshot damage, 6% damage to armor, and then 21% health damage. Moving on to the other stats, all weapon damage is at 62.3%. We have 25% rifle damage, 40% assault rifle damage, 15% SMG. Moving down here, these are the brand sets and the talents that we are running on the build. When it comes to the armor and all that stuff, not really relevant.
And that is pretty much it for the build, guys. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you're running anything like this and whether you like it. Let me know if there's any tweaks I can make to this to make it even better. I appreciate all your support. As always, guys, don't forget to smash that like button to help support the channel and help us grow. If you're new around here, hit that sub button. Join the Mod Squad for lots more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Mod Squad. Assistance needed. Mortars loaded with DC 62.
Good work. Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. <laughs>